Oh, how absolutely deliciously cute. I don't know who's cuter, the baby or the kitties. Yes, I know. <laughs> so sweet. On to our next segment. Shwe Shwe Kini Activewear is what you get when you combine the ambition of a young, tenacious Sutu girl with brains and hard work. Mapito Taisi is the founder of the Activewear fashion brand that is beginning to refine African prints as we know it. Now, she joins us to chat about her line and exactly what inspired her. Welcome to The Loft. Thank How you. are you? I'm good. I was first introduced to your incredible work, I think, during Pali's presenter yeah. search. Yeah, it was a top billing takeover. The, it was a mm. top billing takeover, and the girls had to interview you about some of the amazing things yeah. that you make. And I just remember thinking, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful idea. How did you come up with the concept of combining your Sutu Shwe Shwe with activewear and swimwear? Thank you for having me again. <laughs> and I think the inspiration came from seeing a lack of African print, but yeah. particularly Southern African mm. prints in sure. swimwear and activewear. And so I, I, I discovered a niche market and I went for it. Yeah. How are you able to play between the two? Because traditionally we know that um, cultural wear is often conservative. You know, mm. you have to cover up and be quite respectable, as people mm -hmm. might say in society. But here you are spinning it on top of a table using those same materials, bending, shaping, and putting on something that's so much more modern. Yeah, I, I think I wanted a different medium to teach people about my culture, mm. and swimwear is an untapped market, yeah. particularly in the black African cultures. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's why it created a little bit of a wave. I want to understand a little bit more about Shwe Shwe, because, you know, this in the Scottish uh, mm. cultures, mm -hmm. they wear those kilts. But now each kilt, each print of a kilt, d belongs to a different clan. Mm -hmm. So the McPhersons mm. will have a red with a yellow stripe, yeah. and the uh, McFattons mm. will have okay. a blue with a thingy. So is Shwe Shwe, is it divided at all? Or how do you keep on coming up with different looks mm. and different prints. Yeah, I think the Basutu people have their own go-to shwe shwe prints. Like, shwe shwe prints are very diverse. Okay. The yeah. Basutu prints have their own, the Tswanas have their own that they go okay. to. And then all the other cultures in South Africa, the Kosas as well, use shwe shwe. So okay. it's not just for one particular culture, okay. but... And do each of them have their own unique look? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, amazing. Yeah, very, very, very yeah. unique. Um, and I know for yourself, I mean, you are so... The way you name your collections is just so special. You don't go out there and just, you know, it's very meaningful to you. Yeah. How do you come up with the names? And I guess this is going to be a difficult one. Which is your favourite, favourite, like, standout memory with naming? Well, I normally look at my culture, the yeah. names, because all the Sutu names have a meaning behind yeah, them. Yeah. And when I name my pieces, like my first piece was the Rafilo Kini, which I named after myself. Yeah. Rafilo, which means to be given in the uh -huh. Sutu culture. Yeah. So I normally just look at my culture, what is the meaning behind the, the name, yeah. and then I use it. And to, interpret. Yeah, and I, I saw in it. one of your pics, you've had the cape with the blue basutu, that with, made out of the yes. blue, blue basutu blanket. And I've got one of those blankets that I got as a gift from Prince Harry. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that one. That so one. now <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I should maybe have it recut and made into a cape. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but such beautiful, yeah. vibrant prints. Yeah. Do you want to take us through some of the looks that you've brought us Definitely. today? Yeah, sure. I mean, so, that is just glorious. I love that green. So the first oh, look love. that we have, uh, it's called the Mahadi swimsuit. So yeah. Mahadi is dowry or lobola in Sesotho. And oh, you need one of those. I and did, so I received. We also have a cover-up. So these are new cover-ups. So this is a, an addition to our current collection. Mm. So now instead of swimwear, people can now shop for cover-ups. The same way as you wearing it as well. Yes. It, can, it doesn't have to be resort wear or swimwear. You can yeah. wear it out. You can wear it out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Love it. And I love it because it adds that modern twist for those that are a bit more conservative. Definitely. Nice. And I see that you've got something for the fellas too. Absolutely. That is so we've got the corsi swim shorts. So these are also board shorts. Um, so the material, the fabric, people can swim with it or they can also wear and pair up with a t-shirt of their liking and they're good to go. Um, who, who's the quintessential Shwe Shwe Kini active wear person or owner, customer. Who are you trying to target? Is it all age groups? Well, my age groups start around 20 to about 
45 ish. Oh, wow. would like, and it's mostly people who love traveling. So mm. most of my customers buy Shui Shui Kini as part of their travel oh, items. Oh, look how And then this is, is one of my newest items. Yeah. And this the is the detail nail on the side of those pants are amazing. Yeah, so it's golden um, padded as well. So yeah, so this is a nice orange so two piece. Yes. And we also have a headscarf to go with that. Stunning. I love So how do you ensure that we are safe and covered up even when we're in the wildest Who of oceans. Who wants to be that covered up, Pearly? Come on, girl. girl, you've got it flaunted. Rihanna did say, um, you know, free certain items of, 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 of yourself, but I'm trying to cover it up, girl. But no, so I'm how into do you free the nip. How, how do you reinforce <laughs> to ensure that doesn't happen? Yeah, cover up as in when you are... Yeah. yeah. Is, is there like specific stitching or elastic that you might use? Yes, there, is, secure, okay. there is a particular elastic that we use to just keep it intact. Love that. So I used to have a, a swimwear line called Jeannie Bikini and it was so difficult. So why would yours stand out and be different? Why should people buy your bikinis as opposed to any other bikinis? I think it represent it represents a South African culture. A culture, you know, Shushu is a budding item yeah. right now. And in the market, people are looking for something that's uniquely South African and African. And I think telling that story and continuing continuing that in that route is definitely going to be something that we bring different to the market. Well, I yeah. think these prints and your colors are just absolutely glorious. I think Thank everybody you. needs one of these as a staple in their diet, in, in, their, in their summer wardrobe this yeah. summer. Absolutely <laughs> definitely. gorgeous. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for being here today. Thank you. They are lovely. I think you're going to have a glorious summer as are we donning some of our shui shui I got it, girl. I got it. Now look, don't miss out. As we chat to lifestyle influencer and, of course, um, publicist. publicist, Lorinda Weich. Wurst. Wurst. Oh, it's Wurst. Yeah. Catch us after the break. break.